World Pizza. The author writes the words, the illustrator draws the pictures. The tall hill with the cherry trees and the soft grass for chairs was the best place to look for a wishing star. Mama found such a star, the first to be seen in more than a hundred years. It was not the brightest nor the biggest in the sky that night, but it was still a true wishing star, so Mama made her wish. I wish for a world peace. Ah-ah-ah-choo! said Mama. A floating cherry blossom had tickled her no nose into a giant sneeze. Mama wished for world pizza, said Jack. I think she meant world peace, said Papa. I definitely heard world pizza, said Joey. Peace, said Papa. Pizza, howled baby Mo. He reached up and squeezed Papa's nose. Let's not fight, said Mama. Just then, a pizza fell from the sky, landing gentle as a warm blanket on Mama's lap. The kids didn't know about peace, but they knew about pizza, and this particular pizza was delicious. Mama, in her heart, still wished for peace, for a world filled with kindness and love and no fighting, but she agreed the pizza was delicious. So they ate until their bellies were full and everyone was happy. Across the world, in another town, on another hill, sat another family and another pizza, carried on the wind, appeared. This one landed to top the father's head. That family agreed the pizza was delicious, so they ate until their bellies were full and everyone was happy. Pizza appeared in valleys, in deserts, and on, very, on the very up topmost points of snowy, blowy mountains. Pizza rained down onto cars, subways, boats, and planes. People living in the biggest buildings of the biggest town got pizza. People living in the smallest buildings of the smallest towns got pizza. People with no place to live at all got pizza. They, those people got extra pizza. There was spicy pepper pizza, salty seaweed pizza, chocolate cherry pizza, and extra cheesy with pickles pizza. None of the pizzas were the same, but they were all so delicious. Some people dipped their pizza in hummus, while others dipped their pizza, their pizza in guacamole. Some people made their pizza chow mein, and some people made pizza sushi. Some even made pizza soup. They all agreed the different pizzas were delicious, so they shared it and everyone was happy. The bully on the playground pointed and laughed at the unusual looking pizzas until the kids offered him slices. He ate and realized he liked the new flavors, and he liked his new friends even more. The pirates on the rough ocean seas put down their swords to eat pizza. They agreed the pizza was superb. Once they stopped fighting, they realized they were they were tired of being angry and tired of hurting each other. So they kicked their swords into the bottom of the sea and all the pirates were happy. Even angry neighbors with tall fences and locked doors got pizza. They peeked over their fences and frowned at the pizza, the pizzas that looked nothing like their own. They shook their fists and called out, go away, until the scrumptious smell made them stop and they looked at the faces of all the different people eating every kind of pizza imaginable. They saw the smiles and they couldn't help but smile back, so they opened their doors wide and joined the fun outside. There were pizza tossing contests, there were pizza parties, there were even pizza parades. People all over the world talked and laughed and ate until their bellies were full. Even after the pizza was gone, the people stayed. They made friends. And in that moment, the world was filled with kindness and love and no fighting. On top of the tall hill with the cherry trees and the soft grass for chairs, Mama picked up the last piece of pizza. She gave it to the stray dog that followed them home. As Mama tucked Jack, Joe, and baby Mo into bed, Jack yawned and said, Mama, I'm sorry you didn't get your wish for world peace. Mama gave each child a kiss and turned out the light. Next time, she whispered, the family fell asleep, cozy in the warmth of their peaceful dreams.